fasting can affect your testosterone levels in a very positive way if you do it right. What's going on sixpackabs.com? It's Thomas DeLauer and I'm here to give you the facts on intermittent fasting and how it can help your testosterone levels. So here's the thing guys, we're always taking breaks from work or we're taking breaks to sleep or we're going on vacation because we need to give ourselves a physical rest or a mental rest. But how come we don't give ourselves a break from eating? I mean, it makes logical sense that we should be giving our digestive systems a break when they're working overtime all the time, right? Here's the thing that you need to know. Every time that you eat, your testosterone levels fall temporarily. Yeah, it's normal. It's common knowledge. In fact, studies have shown that testosterone levels fall for up to three hours and sometimes even more than three hours after eating. So if you're eating three, four, five, six, seven times per day, like a lot of the fitness community will tell you, then you're always plummeting your testosterone levels and taxing your digestive system, never giving yourself a true, honest break. That's where intermittent fasting comes in, and that's what I want to talk about. So intermittent fasting, essentially, where you're going a period of time without eating, and then a smaller period of time as your eating window, is really becoming a big thing these days, and I've been talking a lot about it. But I want to talk about one particular study that proves that intermittent fasting has a positive effect when it comes to your testosterone levels. This study was published by the European Journal of Endocrinology, and what it looked at was two different classifications of men that were intermittent fasting. Okay, one group was obese, one group was non-obese, and they were measuring a couple of things, luteinizing hormone and testosterone. I'll get to what exactly those are in a second. But first off, what they found was that obese men that were fasting had a 26% increase in luteinizing hormone, and the non-obese men had a 67% increase in luteinizing hormone. What is luteinizing hormone? Luteinizing hormone is created by the pituitary gland and it communicates with the testes, the latex cells in the testes, to produce testosterone. So it is essentially the communication system between the brain and the testes to produce testosterone. It is a precursor. So when you have an increase in that LH, that luteinizing hormone, you have a subsequent increase in testosterone. So this led to a 180% increase in available testosterone, unbound testosterone that was able to be utilized. That's pretty darn amazing in both obese men and non-obese men. But here's the thing. What are some of the other benefits of fasting? Because we all know that it's one thing to increase testosterone, but we have to have some other benefits as well. Well, there was another study that actually looked at 34 men that were undergoing a 16-8 fasting regimen, again, where they're fasting for 16 hours and eating for an eight-hour window. Well, pretty amazing results there too. What they found was that across the board over eight weeks, there's a dramatic decrease in fat mass on the body, okay? A lot less body fat. But here's the cool thing. There was no change in their muscle mass or their maximal strength, but was also measured around the arms and the legs, which is where people normally would lose size and lose their muscle the fastest. Pretty darn amazing. Now, however, I will say, there was a slight decrease in triiodothyronine levels. That's basically your thyroid level. So some people will freak out and say, well, that means my thyroid's slowing down and my metabolism's gonna slow down. Don't worry, it was temporary because TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone, did not decrease. TSH is a precursor to your thyroid hormone. And as long as TSH stayed elevated, we're in good shape. So really, really positive news there. Okay, let's get back to testosterone levels again. Okay, let's talk about autophagy. What is autophagy? Autophagy is that cellular death, that natural cell recycling, also known as cell eating. Cells eat themselves and recycle. And it sounds kind of almost uh, cannibal-like. It sounds bad, but it really needs to happen, and it's a natural thing. And when we fast, we encourage that. We encourage that autophagy where the cells recycle. Well, where does this come into play with testosterone? See, people always think that just because your body is breaking down proteins, that you're gonna lose muscle size. That's not the case. In fact, the previous study I mentioned proved that. But what it does mean is that your body is going to be able to recycle amino acids from old muscle tissue, from connective tissue like tendons and ligaments. It's gonna take old amino acids, it's gonna be able to recycle them and deposit them as waste or use them as something new. Well, that also means that it's going to do this with estrogens that are floating around the body, those free xenoestrogens that are toxic to our body. You see, when we have too much estrogen, we don't have as much testosterone. Testosterone goes through something known as aromatization where it converts to estrogen. The more estrogen we have in the body, the less testosterone we have in the body. So this autophagy that fasting encourages kills off and recycles that estrogen and gets it out of the body so that the testosterone is more available. 
So not only are you increasing your levels of testosterone through production from the brain, you're also freeing up more testosterone by ratio with estrogen. I hope that that makes sense. Essentially, you're turning your body into a lean, efficient machine simply by intermittent fasting. So there you have it. That's the simple breakdown, the simple science on the quick way to get abs through intermittent fasting. You just have to make sure that you're following the protocol and you're doing it right. So as always, keep it locked in here with sixpackabs.com. I'm Thomas DeLauer, and I will see you with some more science soon.